Oh, they're locking down a little bit, so space, yeah. I was one of the athletes. I'm just gonna peg him. I'm in. Greatness, whether that's athletic or in life, doesn't come from those who accept normality, but instead from those who have worked harder, better, faster and stronger than the rest of the human race. Here at the Zach and Jay Show, we're always striving for greatness week on week to prove who is the superior member of the show. And despite all of that, some people still say that buying discounted tracksuits and fake medals doesn't make you a real winner. So we decided to clear up who was the fastest once and for all and sneak into a world-class athletics event and run the 100 meter race in front of thousands of people. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, sit your beautiful backsides down, get real comfy and prepare your heart for this palpitation causing episode of The Zack Condition. Just approaching the stadium now. There's a lot of hectic behaviour. Thousands, I'll go as far as to say, people approaching the stadium. I didn't realise it was going to be this much of a big deal, to be honest. A lot of people, isn't there? <laughs> the pinnacle of the sporting world, Zach versus Jay, and all these people have come out to witness the clash of the titans. In a football situation, I can imagine the crowd would get behind it, you know, they like a bit of cheekiness. This is like an athletics crowd. More sophisticated people, I can imagine. The regimented, the discipline. They don't want little f***ers running on the pitch. Oh, mate, we get on the pitch, trip up on the fence, hurt our wrists, run off. Security dump tackles. We don't even make the 100 metres and everyone's going, boo, we get arrested and get a 20 grand fine and the TV company don't pay a penny. <laughs> I'm still going to be in front of Jay when that happens. Yeah, this guy's going to get smoked. That's not even going to be able to clear the fence, mate. I'll be hopping over that fence like a... like paprika. Like, mate. <laughs> You get smoke like smoky bacon crisps, mate. That was good. So with the trash talking well underway, Jay and I headed towards one of London's most iconic stadium with the thousands of others in tow. Now they may have been there to witness the world's top athletes break records, but they were also gonna see the final score get settled between two of the behemoths of the UK YouTube scene. Step one. Secure it, eh? We're heading in. We're heading in. It's, it's going to be you, mate, at the end of the day, behind bars. <laughs> Zach, behind bars, mate. Let him out. Hey. This whole plan could be actually over if someone recognised me from previous convictions. Oh, yeah. Well, these glasses may seem like they're just a fashion statement. I think they detract from who I truly am. Strategic move. Very thorough. Didn't even scan my ticket. A bit of a spectacle, this. They made it in. They have a search dog here. Good job they can't smell some 100 meter sprinters because they would be barking right away. <laughs> Isn't that right? Step two. So we had made it into the stadium grounds, but it was time to see who was the quickest reaction. Seems like we're about to do some reaction times, aren't we, mate? I think it's quite important here, not only in a race that your reaction time's on point, but when you're ducking past security, you're getting out of their way, yeah. and you're trying to get the 100 meters completed, this is where reaction time's going to come in. You've a little to, bit of sidestepping. All of this reaction time has to come in with quick witted thinking. I can't be asked to get tackled by a security guard. That is my main thing. Oh, what is that? It's too bright. Absolutely shocking. Children were doing better than that earlier, Jamie. Shut up. Right. Top right. What is bossing it? You've got long arms, mate. You got them spaghetti arms. Excuse me. Ah! Time out. Okay. Get ready. Okay. <laughs> so I'm glad that happened. Jamie's been talking a lot of rubbish. Mate, I'm going to be burning 100 metres for 64,000 people. They think they've seen fast with the fastest 100 metre sprints of the day, but athletes that train every second. Mate, you should see me have some nachos and a chicken burger. Zoom. Sign me up. So Jay was clearly upset that my spaghetti arms were able to bag me the reaction time victory, but I was under no illusion that this was enough to bag me the win over 100 metres. 
It was time to get down to business as we headed into the stadium to put together a plan on how we'd sneak backstage, dodge security, grace the 100 meter track and settle this beef once and for all. Oh my god, here we are. We're coming up to the entrance. So as we walked down to trackside to figure it out, little did we know we were about to be blessed with a big fat green blessing from above. So we've noticed the security have green wristbands on. We have some tape on us, which uh, slightly resembles that. So we knew what colour the wristband was, but we still didn't know how to get trackside. So I went for a jog through the stadium to look for ways into the track entrance. At this point, I was literally chasing a man with official credentials on and seen him walk down these set of stairs, which led to the bottom of the stadium. Bingo. The pieces for the race were falling into place, but it seems one of the security guards was getting a little suspicious of us. Wait, wait, wait. Security guy on your right shoulder looking a little bit suspicious. The plan was simple. Me being the beautiful, courageous boy I am, I said I'd go first, sneak backstage and wait for Jay. We'd then meet, walk out in front of the masses and settle this beef forever. Annoyingly, I got a clot to me. This deck has what to go down. It's not about to search for another. It's go time. I'm in, downstairs, into the staff area. I'm in, downstairs, into the staff area. So at this point, I was kind of lost, but I ran past one, past two, and then past an entire office full of security. toilet to base out. This bloke was suspicious, but in the end, not even the athletes themselves could stop me. Right. So I'm in the lower layers. No way out onto the track. Just need to wait for the right time. I have my way down onto the track. Where are you? Toilet. Nice. Toilet. Okay, go. Right, I'll come meet you now. Alright, love it. Just looking. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Right. So Jay started his mission backstage. The race was dependent on him making it. So while I was warming up, he was having a few issues. No, uh, my mate's time said that that's where the athletes are going. Athletes going downstairs. Yeah. yeah. You have to go for another entrance. Right. Okay. Is it next one? Oh, okay. Fully messed up my wristband. Look at that. Damn it. But for me, this is tense. So, tried getting in, security guy said no. Tried another one, he said he need you. And it's weird back door. Where this door leads out to. First. Right, so I don't know where I am. I'm in a car park, but oh, there it is. Right, I've got one chance to get in. So I'm in a car park at the moment. All I need to do, that's where the actual race is. All I need to do is get past like a good few security and like official staff members. I'm just gonna peg it. I'm just gonna peg it. But I'm at, I'm at the actual tunnel bit, but I'm on the outside. I need to jog it in. I'm gonna jog it in now. Yeah, sorry, I'm in a little bit of a rush. Sorry. Yeah, I've just, um, I was one of the athletes before. So I've got, yeah, I was one of the athletes. So after a few close calls, but some extremely beautiful textbook blagging skills from my mate Jay, we were in the lower layers. The race was just a whisker away. The nerves were pumping through every fiber of our unathletic bodies as we walked out the tunnel. Only the world's sport and elite could. At this point, things were a blur. We weren't getting distracted by the cameras or the crowd. It was time to settle the score. Who was the fastest sprinter in the Zach and Jay show? We were about to find out. Right, how are you feeling, mate? Who's gonna win? Me. No, nah, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Right, you, you want number three? Right, three, two, one. Shoot! <laughs> 
So Jay may have crowned himself the fastest member of the show, a victory by default I'd say, or perhaps it's my fault for buying shoes that are too big. Either way, we we're pretty happy that we just didn't get dump tackled by security. What an honour to perform on the same day with the athletes of this calibre, truly, is a dream come true. What he did was pretend he dropped something after he was in the brief. Tell you what, job done, we did it, we performed with the world's best. <laughs> 